Hi everyone! Good evening! For those who follow me on Instagram, you know by now na I bought something. But I'm not sure if you guys already know from what brand. But bago ko i-share sa inyo kung ano yung binili ko. At bago ko ikwento sa inyo kung ano ang nangyari nung binili ko siya, gusto ko munang i-share sa inyo yung story ko as a consumer or yung road to buying this certain designer stuff. So, ganito kasi yun. Ah, ganito kasi yun. Balikan muna natin nung around, I guess, 2010, 2009, nung una kaming pumasok sa MK. I know that's not a designer bag. It's a, it's a contemporary, you know, brand. And that time, I remember talaga asking the SA about that bag na hinawakan ko at gustong gusto ko. And then she said something like, it's around 20,000 po. Parang ganon. And then, tatatanda ko na takot at takot ako at dahan-dahan kong binitawan yung uh, bag at pinabalik. Hindi ko naman masasabi na inalipusta niya ako. But I must say na dahil naalala ko how I reacted at that time, Michael Kors talaga ang pinakaunang contemporary brand na talagang kinarget kong mapili. Kasi nga, I know how it feels na hindi ko siya kayang bilhin. And that time, was I working? No, I'm not working at that time. Uh, yeah, housewife pa lang ako and I believe we're still living at Kainta. So, I'm staying at Kainta. And yung husband ko lang yung may work. So, talagang hindi naman talaga namin afford yun. Siguro kung mga around 10,000, baka afford ko pa, pero around 20 plus thousand. And it was also around, at, at Shangri-La. So, hindi ko siya na-afford. So, now, uh, fast forward to so many years, of course, na-afford na rin naman siya. Lalo na nagkaroon na rin ako ng work. Nagkaroon ako ng MK, ng coach, ng Tory Burch. Ano ba ba? Uh, I, I think my most expensive bag is Alexander McQueen. I have DKNY. I have Marc Jacobs. Pinili din ako ni hobby ng bag sa Michael Kors Australia na I gave to my mom eventually. But I started with Guess first. No? Guess, Nine West, ganun. Those are co contemporary brands. I know that. Now, uh, we never, we don't really, you know, it's a dream, you know, for us, for me and my husband, to buy a designer bag. And I think the first time we attempted to go inside a designer store is at LV. Was it Capuchin? Or I'm not sure how to pronounce because, again, I'm not really into, or I'm not really, you know, wala, hindi naman talaga ako expert siyan. But I remember, nung pumasok kami sa LV, we were really taken care of. Uh, it's actually at, at Greenbelt. And uh, the bag that I saw that was around 2017 is around 120,000. And at that time, I think ang bala lang namin is around 50,000. That is why I was able to buy pa naman yung mga contemporary brands. I think my only designer brand technically, if if Alexander McQueen is, an, is, a, is a designer bag, yun, yun yung pinakamahal ko at that time. And... Uh, coach kasi nakakabili ako ng exotic sa coach but not really pa rin siya designer bag. So yeah, ayun. So when I went to LV, the, the, the SA, the CA is so much willing to open uh, a champagne for me already. Pinapaupo na niya ako, pinapaupo na niya and gusto niya na talagang you know, she, he really believes na kaya kong bumili. But then again, um, hindi siya pwede kang bumili kasi ayoko naman na bumili ng walang or, or you know to buy something na hindi pa naman talaga kami ready at that time though technically meron naman akong work pero at that time kasi we are not buying because ang daming priorities I mean um, maliban sa pas priority namin na mahaling mga vaccines ng mga bata um, yung pag-aaral din ng mga bata and also I think mas priority namin noon magbakasyon. Mas gustong gusto namin nagsisikasyon, kumain, lumabon, ganyan. So I guess it's also safe to say na kaya ngayon at some point is meron kaming bala is because lesser yung food namin, lesser the vacations are actually halos wala. And also malalaki na yung mga bata so wala na halos vaccine. So medyo kato paano nagiging priority na siya. 
um, mabalik ko lang, sorry, ang dap, ang labo ng kwento, but um, I actually shared this, no, na in, in terms of clothes and, uh, and beauty products, skincare and makeup, I tend to I tend to spend at least around almost a million yearly for clothes like probably 350 to 400 and then for yeah for beauty uh perfume and makeup and skincare mga ganun din for 100 for 100 plus so almost a million for that so nung kinocontemplate namin yung gastos we're we're trying to see like right now na nagdulus na ako ng weight na notice namin na ang dami-dami kong pinamigay na gamit na na, na damit ang dami kong pinamigay na shoes ang dami kong pinamigay na makeup so i i understand na makeups and skincare ano sila um nauubos sila consumable sila pero because before i wasn't really that wise and i kept on hoarding ang dami ko tuloy sinayang na ang ending is kailangan ko ibigay or uh, husband ko yung gumagamit and also um, for the clothes naman, because I did not really intend or expect na maglulus ako ng that much weight, I ended up giving a lot of clothes. And also shoes, I ended up giving a lot of shoes because nga, hindi naman din siya nagtatagal despite, you know, despite buying the most expensive shoes like Clark's na 10,000 ang isa, um, hindi rin siya nagtagal nitong pandemic. And um, that's sad. So, parang we ended up really discussing and saying na parang ano na lang ba yung talagang mas nagtagal. And what actually lasted is yung bags. So, yun na nga. Um, 2017, 2018 pa yung LV na yun. And so, we stopped na. We did not really, you know, dream na parang makapunta kami doon. Or makabili kami doon ulit. Kasi, um, someone gave me an LV bag. And it is so memorable for me because it is my first ever designer bag. It is a 1984 Speedy bag. And I'm so grateful to that person up to now. And, uh, ayun, um, dito lang. Um, nung nag-iikot-ikot kami, naisipan namin pumunta. I think the, oh, I saw si, uh, I saw someone who posted about the Celine bag. And then I looked, I we I really went to that place just to look for the Celine bag. Alam nyo, nagustuhan ko yung bag, pero si Hobby, sobrang napikon siya dun sa guard na nagpabantay nung Celine. So, sobrang helpful nung staff, pero yung guard and isa pa nilang staff, they were looking at me from head to toe. And so because of that, my husband, even though we have the bala at that time, hindi niya pinuntahan. And then after that, we felt really bad. Hindi namin niya pala binili. And then after that, my husband felt really bad. We went, I went to LV on my own. Kasi nga parang minamata-mata nila siguro yung mga bata. And also our bags, kasi luma na yung bags ng mga bata. Kasi hindi naman need talaga ng bago. Ang tibay nung bakit pa? I went to LV on my own and then the staff at LV parang laughed at me when they noticed na lalabas lang din naman pala ako at hindi rin ako bibili. So, ignore na lang sa kanila. And then, we went to, should I share it? We went to Prada. And, um, we had a very good experience. And the SA, the CA there is very, very nice. And to be honest, Ang tagal kong pinag-isipan kung bibilin ko siya or hindi. I can't sleep for days because of it. So for so many weeks, talagang inisip ko maigi kong bibilin ko siya. But I ended up not buying. For certain reasons, like nakikita ko yung display, hindi ganun kaganda yung stocks, hindi ganun ka-unique, ang daming fake designs. And as much as I want to, my heart is saying yes. But my mind is saying no. The SCA is very, very nice. I'm telling you. That is why I gusto ko siyang bentahan. But, yun nga, the, the, the styles na nandun sa bag, sa display, are not that nice. Itutuloy ko yung kwento ko sa susunod na post very soon as I share with you the new stuff that I got. Kwento ko pa ba? Gusto niyo pa ba yun? But, Pumunta kami sa ibang branch at sa ibang stores pa. At ikikwenta ko sa inyo my experience with those stores. Until next time!
Have a good holiday, guys.